Wanna <laughs> come back? <laughs> You're not in the shot. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want it? Like, okay. Hey guys, it's YB. And hey, yeah. <laughs> So today is a video where you can show yourself now. Hi. Today we're going to the Try Guys holiday party. It's already that time. It might seem like we just did this video because we had a holiday party in May that was from a year before. But this one is a real 2022 Christmas holiday party. This is gonna be a fun get ready with me video. So, you know, we're just gonna get ready together and go to the party. Nice. So let's go. <laughs> hey guys, before we continue, I hope you like this new outfit. It's very Christmassy. And this is from Love Bonito. So thank you Love Bonito for sponsoring this video. When I worked with Love Bonito last time, I had a lot of people recognize Love Bonito and were happy that I heard about them. So this time I'm working with them again. And they sent me a bunch of cute clothes that I can't wait to show you guys. Love Bonito is a fashion powerhouse known for its modern, minimalist, chic wardrobe basics and thoughtful designs that can take you from home to work to play. They make their designs solve daily problems such as fully lined tops and dresses, bottoms with functional pockets that all modern women face by creating affordable, stylish, functional clothing for all occasions and milestones. They have workwear, party dresses, intimates and loungewear, maternity outerwear and more. Now for this holiday season, Love Bonito has collaborated with four amazing women to curate a special assortment of looks that fit their festive personas. The holiday enthusiast, the chic traditionalist, the get-together MVP, and the holiday glam lover curated by Bling Empire's executive producer and entrepreneur, Kelly Mee Lee. I personally watch Bling Empire and I love the show, so Kelly is the one who designed this outfit, which I think is amazing. You can also check out all the festive looks by Sophie Andres, Grace Chen, and Love Bonito's founder, Rachel Lim, in the link below. Go to my link down below in my description box and use my code LBXYBCHANG to get 10% off your first order Order that are $130 and more. So check out the link down below and now back to the video. Okay guys, let's get ready for the party. I'm in my bathroom. So we are going to do my skincare, makeup, hair, everything in this room. It is a get ready with me after all. Before we start with skincare, we're gonna use my Amira device. I got this sponsored a few weeks ago and I've been using it because might as well. Um, this is like a RF radio frequency device. It's actually very, very calming and enjoyable so I use it as part of my skincare routine now you just put their product on there and then you just like glide it so it is about 3 30 right now we're supposed to go to the dinner that starts at 6 so you you would think I have a lot of time but you guys know I live in PV now which is like Sometimes with traffic an hour away from LA, I was gonna do a whole thing, like even doing like a face mask, but I don't think we have enough time. I wanna do hair and makeup. All right, that was nice and relaxing. I've washed my face off, and then now we're gonna start the skincare process. So first I use my toner. This is by Some By Me, one of my favorite Korean brands. You guys should know most of my products are Korean, um, both makeup and skincare. Of course, I have a pimple today, the day that I wanted to film. This is also by Film By Me. This is a snail serum. I love snail cream. I do have very dry skin in the winter, so snail cream is very moisturizing and nice. And then I have my Beauty of Joseon Glow Serum. And then my moisturizer is also snail cream. This is Costarax, my favorite brand. It's almost done. I need to get a new one. I'm gonna... It's a little gooey, but it's so soft and moisturizing. And they have everything. They have serum, they have moisturizer, toner, cleanser. I actually use their cleanser as well. Now, normally I would put on sunscreen, but since it's going to be night, I'm not gonna wear sunscreen. So if I'm going really glowy, I use this Glassy um, by Touch and Soul. It's called a Glassy Skin Balm. It's kind of like lotion. Just put a little bit on the parts that you want it to be glassy, so like on your cheeks. But I don't want to put it on the forehead because <laughs> I don't want a shiny forehead. So for foundation, I use Misha BB Cream. Both are almost done. I use two different colors. This is number this is number 23, this is number 25. 23 alone is too light on me and 25 is too dark on me. I don't know where the 24, why don't they sell 24? But so I mix these two. 25. 
See, the color difference is pretty big. I don't know why they don't make the something in the middle. Right, so I have my beauty blender, mix it on my hand. Put up that pimple. Nice and clean base. My eyebrows. I use a L'Oreal brow pencil. If you want, it's definitely not matching, but it's good enough, I think. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I've had for years. Do these expire? Probably. They're all ColourPop and one Peach C. This is probably the one I use the most nowadays. This one's Korean, the rest are ColourPop. I think you're supposed to go with a light base, right? So we'll use the Peach C palette. We'll use this one first because that's the lightest color. Let's try this one. It's like an orangey gold color. Oh, it's so pigmented. How does that look to you guys? <laughs> Let's hope I can pull that off. We'll go back to Peach C and use this shimmer. This might be a little difficult. But a thing I learned was to, you're supposed to bring this down a little, the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go with that same color again. I'm actually nervous. That work very From here, that looks like the best eyeshadow I've ever done. Now we're gonna line the inner corner or the, what do you call it? Here, whatever you call that. Rimmel London eyeliner, brown eyeliner. After that, we're gonna curl our lashes. Now is the hard part-ish. We got magnetic eyeliner. We're gonna put on magnetic eyelashes because those are the best. Still to this day, I prefer these over normal fake lashes. This is actually my favorite magnetic eyeliner brand. This is called Luxilia. You can get this on Amazon and out of all the eyeliners I've tried, this one is like the easiest to apply and it sticks very well. So I prefer this one. Now I don't know if I can get this on camera because I have to get this very precision. Um, but I like to put a very thin line. The magnets stick right away to the liner which makes the application so easy. Okay, I'm sorry, I can never do it on camera, but I put it on. <laughs> oh, it's already four. I only have an hour and I still have to do my hair. Okay, we're gonna try to speed it up a little more now. We're gonna do the famous Eggyosai makeup, which is basically like drawing on eye bags. I'm pretty new to this too, so I'm not very good at it, but what you do is basically when you smile, this line, you're gonna emphasize it. You can use an eyebrow pencil or anything really. Then you can blend it with a brush. I'm gonna get a small brush. Get a dark glitter color right here. So extend your eye line a little bit this way. You can get any really highlighter or um, eyeshadow of a bright color and just put it along the between line. And then you do have to do the bottom eyelashes. This is very important in the Korean makeup. L'Oreal Telescoping Mascara. really like this one because it's perfect for bottom eyelashes. It's very small. And then I have this fun eye glitter. This is perfect for just putting a little bit under the eye. I have this contour stick from NYX. I actually really like it because it's a contour and highlighter in one. So I'm just gonna... Perfect. Blend it. And then something that I recently started doing is blush. I used to never wear blush. The ColourPop blush stick. I just blend it with my fingers. We're almost done. <laughs> um, I don't need to hurry. It's 4.20 now. Um, I'm gonna use my highlighter, which is Lumi Lotion from L'Oreal. I do have a lip liner from Palladio. So I've over underlined very little bit. This is my favorite lip tint. It's Korean. It's from Romand. It's a glassing water tint. But this tint stays on all night, I noticed. And this is glossy by itself that you might not need additional stuff on top. But if you want it more glossy, you can put more gloss. For finishing, I have my Hourglass Finishing Powder. Just to set it off. Alright, I think the makeup looks good now. Let's quickly do our hair. Now it's 4.45 
40. I have 20 minutes to get dressed. We're gonna leave this in for a little while longer. Now let's go on, put on. Now let's go put on the dress. Six minutes before five is when her birth starts getting ready. I'm done. Let's put the bangs down. Bang, 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 bang. Looks like this after, you just have to brush it out. Separate it. In the middle. And now it's all bouncy. It's perfect for those who have dead straight hair like I do. Outfit for today. This is the OGs might remember in my very first holiday party vlog, which was 2018 or 19. I was deciding between this dress and another dress, and I ended up going with the other dress. But today I decided to wear this dress. I think it's from Shopo from a long time ago. So it's very Christmassy. It fits my house aesthetics very well right now. Ooh, I love our background right now. Huh? Huh? It's time for a, a reveal. Show your full outfit. Do well, I have shoes on. Okay, we'll, we'll do that later. You're cut off. <laughs> your butt. Well, we're gonna head over to the party now. So, so that was us getting ready for the Try Guys holiday party. Um, thank you guys for watching and we'll blah, blah, blah. happy holidays. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.